first item on the agenda are the minutes. I believe there is one correction on the minutes there. I think. Uh, yeah, that third paragraph down on the first page, we evidently have a new alderman by the name of Keith Ferris. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, it should be Johnny Ferris. Actually, he did the flag last week. So I need to make that correction. Is there any other amendments or changes to the minutes? Uh, I entertain a motion to approve the minutes. We have a motion to approve the minutes. Do I have a second? Second. I have a second. All those in favor, signify aye. Aye. All opposed, signify by no. Motion carries. Next item on the agenda are accounts. There's no vote required on accounts or information. Have any question on any of our accounts?
audience would like to address the board tonight. Okay. Next item on the agenda is out of date. Consider a ordinance that amends the Henderson Municipal Zoning Regulations by establishing guidelines for fence construction. Two, add additional regulations for sign installation. And three, add regulations for a food trust. At this time, I'll open up I'll open up to, uh, to a uh, for public hearing anybody that would like to address this pro or con. Seeing none, I'll close the public hearing. This time, we'll consider the motion on the ordinance. Brent, will you explain where we're at here on this?
second reading since it was unanimous. So moved. Uh, motion to have a second. Second. Have a second. Roll call vote. Bells? Yes. Mr. Barr? Yes. Mr. Smith? Yes. Ms. Butler? Yes. Mr. Barris? Yes. Mr. Bates? Yes. All voted in favor. Okay. Next item on the agenda. Uh, action pertaining to the purchase of the new fire pump of the truck. Two, uh, two out of one is the past residents participate in the cooperative purchasing program. Two is to re review the city debt policy as required prior to issuing debt for the pump. Jim. Okay, this is sort of two parts, and I will turn part of it over to the chief here to explain this cooperative purchasing contract. Uh, throughout the country, different states, different organizations, different cities do cooperative purchasing. Uh, contracts. In other words, basically they go out and take a bid. It's almost like the state of Tennessee take a bid that we can piggyback on. It's basically the same difference, except this is a different type of organization. Uh, this company here is one out of Galveston, uh, Houston, Texas area, and it appears to be this is a very popular group, cooperative purchasing group, specifically for fire trucks and police cars and people other large pieces of equipment. With that being said, Chief, you want to elaborate on that? Uh, all I can tell you is all the, the uh, manufacturers I've dealt with, I highly recommend we buy through this. Uh, I don't know how it's going to end up, but they're saying that we can get a 7% discount on the purchase price, which is about, like I said, 16, about $16,000, $17,000 savings. Um, we won't know that until we get the contract back. We're in no way obligated to these people until we decide to buy a power truck and give them a PO. Everything they do for us up to that moment is that truck costs us anything. When we do buy the fire truck, there's a two thousand dollar fee that's built into the price of the fire truck. So if we can spend two thousand and save seventeen. I thought it was too good to be true and, and after talking to at least five different manufacturers and some people that didn't have anything to do with fire trucks, they highly recommend the fire truck tickets go up. How can you, can you think about finding out about this through other Actually, other fire, other fire chiefs, other cities, and other manufacturers. And then, Jim, did you ever get any feedback from? I did talk to the chief out of Paris. Paris used this program to buy a ladder truck, about seven hundred thousand dollar ladder truck. She highly recommended it. Baller, I know, has purchased one that I haven't had to have a touch base with them. A few other cities smiled, and I think it's fixing to consider it according to the chief of Paris. I think we're we'll going to buy us. We were just trying to get records from West Tennessee. Uh, did they get their discount? You said you didn't really know how they. I really got didn't it. get into that except for every one of them told me that this is the way to buy a car. I mean, so evidently it, it holds true. When you tell the manufacturer that you're going to, what is it worth? I'll be able to send my specs. I'm sending them to two manufacturers and they know on the front end that I'm buying through the Texas Co-op. So when it comes back, that discount's built into it. And that's about all that, all that I know about it as far as the six or seven fire chiefs I've talked to, the three or four cities I've talked to, and the five manufacturers I've talked to, they're all for them. Have we priced one that's not in this co-op? I mean, it's like car shopping. In order to do that, we got to put it out to bid. Do this, you can get, I guess, the worst quotes from them. That you do not have to accept one. You can, you can shop further after you do this. So they could just give us a pricing, uh -huh. and well, we're could, not obligated. No. My understanding, we submit this down, and we'll get more. We'll get several yes. options to purchase. We'll and and it's them. also to where once they bring it back to us. The manufacturer might tell us that we've already got one built that we can sell to cheaper or it's got more options on it, so if you're saying price, we still have options to negotiate all that. This is just a way that you can put out bids and get prices.
controls that I understand through the controller and through the state, and I've called him to ask that yes, you can participate in crop and personal uh, groups. We have only done this, to my knowledge, one other time, and that's when we bought the handicap accessible playground from the city park. Service group got to it. It was bought through a, another group, but it was a crop and purchasing group, uh, and we did not have to bid that. So, but other than that, that's the only time we've ever used one of these crop and groups outside of what you call the state conference. Yeah. Realistically, if, if, tell me if I'm wrong, but realistically, if we go to a regular bidding process that we used to, the same company are going to bid on it, just bidding on it as four months. Yes. And that's the whole, I think that's kind of the whole thing, if we think we can get a better a better bid through the co-op. Yes. And it's just like the state bid contract, like you said. If somebody bought a, just say like a debt gun as part of this $5,000 option on repair truck, if somebody bought it for 4200 in this co-op, then they have to sell it to us for 4200 But if we go to bid, they're going to charge us $5,200 for it. And that's just an example. Yeah. I'm just pulling that out. But they actually look and make sure that you're getting the best deal possible. I move that we drop the old contract for quality purchase. I have a motion to, to approve the resolution. Do I have a second? Sir. I have a second. Any further discussion on the resolution?
years, the last two years out there on those numbers. Yeah. And this year we're reducing it, what, another $800,000. So, you know, yes, we are making pretty good strides on reducing our debt. Okay. Y'all looked at the, the Moody's report that we did to, to, if you remember, we get to get our rating. The, in that Moody's report, it says that uh, the Moody's report that we did for the year of 2019,
probably best we all sit down Tuesday night about six o'clock and uh, we'll go over this. Can ever can it, everybody be there at six? That's the same thing. Another at, at six o'clock. We'll either do it in the conference room or the classroom. We'll depend on how many people there.